I've been working over the weekend and uh, had a few files arrive to me um, after I left the studio and I wanted to comp them all together and I'm gonna do it in QuickTime 7 Pro. So first thing I have is uh, the video file. Um, the video file is being uh, worked on by a guy named John Lewis and uh, he's doing a great job and it has a scratch audio track in it. Let's take a look at it, a bit of it. Imagine agility. If your business software was flexible, if it grew when your business grew, Okay. Now, the first thing I've done is I've taken that scratch audio track, and th this video file is only about 38 seconds long. The whole piece is about a minute 38, so this is incomplete. Now, I have a complete audio track here, which is a post-processed audio version uh, done by my friend Jeff Dykaus. Sounds like this. Imagine agility. If your business software was flexible, if it grew when your business grew. It's loud, and it's got compression, and et cetera, et cetera. And then I also have a soundtrack uh, music bed that Jeff has created for me, and it sounds like this. Now, without actually opening up Final Cut and bringing all these parts in, I'm going to show you a way to comp them together in QuickTime Pro. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, voice track, I'm going to rewind it to the beginning, I'm going to hit Command A to select all, and Command C, copy. And then I'm going to go to um, my uh, music track. I'm going to rewind that. Now, the, the natural inclination would be to paste. Now, and if I paste, what you'll see here is that it actually play, pastes the voice track before the music track. So here, it's going to be uh, on the very latest the voice. And down here, it's the music. So we want to undo that. What I actually want to do is do a... Let's see, where is it? Add to movie. And what add to movie does, if I open up the command J, which is the movie properties, I can see that I now have two separate soundtracks in this one file. Okay? There's the, um, actually, I don't know which one is which. This is probably the music and this is the soundtrack. But they both appear already um, in the file. So I'm going to close that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the video track. I'm going to rewind it. Do the same thing. Select all, copy. And what I would want to do is kind of do the same trick here. But, but remember, there's two problems. One, this is shorter. Two, it already has a soundtrack. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Command J. I'm going to select the video track, and I'm going to extract it. And what that does is it makes me a new QuickTime movie that has just the picture. And you can see that since there's no audio meter down there, that this file has no audio. So I'm going to rewind this, do the same thing select all copy, come over to my new file that I'm compositing everything together in, rewind again, and hit edit, add to movie. And you'll notice that a couple things happen. One, it opens up a video that has a, a, a video track in it. It selects the first portion of it because that's the only portion that has picture. And then it continues on with the remaining audio. Bottom line is when I rewind this and I hit play, I should get the processed audio the music track, and the picture for at least the 38, first 38 seconds. Imagine agility. If your business software was flexible, if it grew when your business grew, if you could connect new sites wherever and whenever they're needed. So there we go. That's compositing stuff together in QuickTime. At this point, what I'd want to do is do a um, command shift S for save a copy as, and I'd call this, uh, you know, the QED QAD uh, composite or whatever you want to call it. So that's a cool trick in QuickTime 7 and uh, it's handy to know that it's available when you need it. Later.